Following the death sentence of young Nora, reactions of support are multiplying across the world and in Sudan where the case took place. Forced into marriage at the age of 16 by her father, the young woman, who is now 19, is said to have killed her husband, who was trying to rape her. From my point of view, legally and socially, Nura now is a victim. She is paying the price of underage marriages, which we kept talking about for a long time. The law should have a say on the issue of underage marriages. On the 2nd of May 2017, Nura's husband, helped by his two brothers and his cousin, raped the young woman who refused to consummate the marriage. It was on the next day when he tried to rape her again that Nura defended herself and killed him with a knife. But in the streets of Khartoum, public opinion seems to be unanimous. Nora is a victim. Most of the Sudanese marry girls when they are 14, 15 or 16 and this is wrong because at that age the girl does not understand anything about marriage. She might know a few things and not all of it. Nora is a victim. First of all, I am against underage marriages. There are human rights violations. Legislations and measures to curb the underage marriages in Sudan should be introduced. Nura became an icon in the recent days and the public opinion is shaping big ideas on the case. The death sentence to me is unjust. In Sudan, marital rape is not recognized by law. Nora, whose dream was to become a teacher, has been held in the women's prison since May 2017. Her story echoes that of more than 37% of girls forced into marriage by their families. Sudanese laws allow children over the age of 10 to marry.